This is Daily Dose of Medicine. Today we will talk about LDL. Watch till the end to learn more about LDL. LDL is low density lipoprotein. Cholesterol is often referred to as bad cholesterol because high levels can lead to plaque buildup in the arteries and result in cardiovascular diseases. It's one of the types of lipoproteins that transport cholesterol and triglycerides through the blood. It's made up of cholesterol, proteins, and other lipids. It carries cholesterol to cells that need it for repair and the synthesis of hormones. However, excess LDL can deposit cholesterol in artery walls. Elevated levels of LDL is important for us because they're well-established risk factor for atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. Normal LDL levels, depending on guidelines and patients' risk profiles, the American College of Cardiology and the American Heart Association recommend an LDL target of less than 100 for most individuals with more stringent targets, less than 70 for those at high risk of atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. Risk of high LDL include an increased likelihood of developing atherosclerosis, which can lead to coronary heart disease, myocardial infarction, and stroke. It's associated with a higher risk of cardiovascular mortality, even individuals with a t low 10-year risk of atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. Mechanism of harm. LDL particles can become oxidized, trigger an inflammatory response. Plaque formation, deposits of oxidized LDL cholesterol build up in the arterial walls. Plaques can rupture, leading to blood clots and later on blood arteries. What are some causes of increased LDL? Lifestyle choices like lack of physical activity, smoking, and excessive alcohol consumption, genetic factors like familial hypercholesterolemia, medical conditions like diabetes, hypothyroidism, and chronic kidney disease. We have some medications to lower LDL, statins, which are most effective drugs for lowering LDL, PCSK9 inhibitors, which are monoclonal antibodies that lower LDL significantly, as it might reduces cholesterol absorption in the intestines, bile acid, sequestrants, bind bile acids, forcing the body to use cholesterol to make more bile. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to recommend this video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. I'll see you on the next one.